Okay, shalom, shalom. Come here, say Allah. Ko holo imla. Yeah, we're about shimmy. I was shy about Hashem. Kahakudash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's all here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai to the best of their ability. And Jacob Nanawap is coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, this is an article. It says, Family shares disturbing images of female IDF soldiers held by Hamas and plead for release. <laughs> so, when I wanted to do this, you know, by the Spirit, you know, uh, as far as the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you shouldn't be joining um, the so-called white man's military. You shouldn't be joining this man's military. And especially women. Women have no place in militaries, man. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely no place in military because you're the weaker vessel. The scripture clearly says that, that the woman is the weaker vessel. It is not your job to go out and try and fight against men. If you get caught, if you get caught like how these women got caught, it, it, you know... There's some things gonna happen to you. You see what I'm saying? Now these are the uh, they're all 18. One one is 18, and uh, the other three are 19. So this is four. They have a little quick um, tw um Twitter uh or formerly known as Twitter X clip, but it says four Israeli female soldiers aged 18, 19 were taken hostage by Hamas during the attack on October 7th. Okay, it says um hostages. Leary, Albag, Karina, Ariav, Daniela, Gilboa, and G Agam Berger were shown in a video with visible injuries and distress contrasting with their pre-captured photos. Families of the hostages are publicly pleading for their release three months after the abduction amid reports of sexual abuse and poor medical treatment of captives. And women just not built for that, man. You know what I'm saying? Women are very emotional. They're 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 not built to be in situations like that. Now here you go. You you're being ravished by, you know. You, you, come on, man. Come on, bro. Dudes taking turns with you. Come on, man. It says a former hostage, Shin Goldstein Almug, reported witnessing the ongoing abuse. And stated that the young women are strong but in desperate need of release. Israeli officials estimated that 130 hostages remain in Gaza with 25 presumed dead. And the Israel Defense Forces are beginning to investigate the security lapse that led to the attack. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, you, you know. And this this thing is all out of hand right now. It, it, and, and, and you know, it's the wars, rumors of wars, man, is really popping out here now because I think um who was that uh um I think it was uh uh Hezbollah or maybe anyway they, they you know they they've been shooting some rockets over into um Israel you know after killing that uh I'm trying to think was he a general or whatever he was the guy they assassinated a few days back or whatever on um you know can't think what country that is exactly where they hit him at but anyway it's been all over the news i have to get a little bit more into it but these are the these are the young ladies right here said it's been 94 days so can you imagine you were 18 year old 19 year old and, and, and you just caught up with with come on bro so let's i'm gonna play it, it's only a little bitty clip anyway but we'll play the video you can see what they asses is looking like. So we trying to tell you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, don't join this man's military. Let them go and fight their own goddamn wars, man. But you women, you for damn sure shouldn't be in no military. See that? Not looking good to me. Let's play that back again. See, one of them sitting there crying here. They looking stupid as hell. Because what kind of government, because this is not scriptural, man. It's not scriptural for women to be in the military. Matter of fact, let's go to, um, that, that's how you know who these, these people that's over there claiming to be the people, man. They, 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 they not about these scriptures, man.
<laughs> they, 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 they not about these scriptures at all. They, they, you know, they, they putting on a great front, but they are not about these scriptures, man. Now this is Numbers chapter one, and this is when um Israel came out of Egypt, you know, with Moses, um, and it's letting you know how the military is set up right here, basically. Verse one, Numbers chapter one, verse one, it says, "And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai." In the tabernacle of the congregation on the first day of the second month in the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel after their families by the house of their fathers with the number of their names, every male by their poles. It has nothing to do with no females. They wasn't numbering no females. Let's see how many females is in here. That could, you know, go to war, you know. Women were a lot more feminine back then. They were real delicate. They wasn't going to, you know, be doing no, 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 no shit like, uh, uh, come on, man. Can you imagine some women fighting against David in his 30? You know, you, you don't even hear, you don't hear about no women in none, none of the militaries. You don't hear about no, no women in a, a Moab's military or Ammon's military or any of those fights, those those battles that the Israelites were having, man. Were no women in no side in those militaries, man. Now you had situations where, okay, you had Deborah, you know, she didn't go to war, but you know what I'm saying. She, you know, was a judge at that at that particular time, you know, and, and really it was on um, Barack. Really, he went and done his thing, but she didn't go and fight no damn war, you know. Then you had um, Judith. You know, in his scriptures, you know, she didn't go and fight no war, but, you know, she she done her thing as far as like cutting off that general's head, you know, roughly paraphrasing. You know what I'm saying? And then you had, uh, I think, what's that, the situation still? Yeah, with uh, where um, the lady, you know what I'm saying? She took that the, 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 the hammer and the pig and, 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 and you know, whacked it through um, Homeboy Temple. You know what I'm saying? I was all, you know, during that time, too. But. I mean, other than that, though, I mean, you're not going to hear about no women enlisting. I'm, that's what I'm saying. You're not about to hear about no women enlisting to no damn army and talking about, okay, we're, you know, uh, they're being told, hey, stay away from your men for three days. Don't have sex. You know what I'm saying? Like how David and, and you know, because pretty much when you went to war, you kind of stayed away from from your woman. You know what I'm saying? Basically. But I mean, come on, man. You're not going to see nowhere in the scriptures where you had to go to the, the army because they got a mandatory two years over there. And I seen a um, a, a so-called black lady. She looked like a J a E. She was over there. Um, and, um, I, you know, I actually done a little video on one of them. But, you know, she was. um Pushing on some Palestinian woman, but, you know, they did over there in them tight ass uniforms. They out here online and shit. They, you know, they, they're doing goddamn TikTok videos and look how pretty and fine I am in this this uniform that I got on with my gun. And then you get caught up and your ass out here looking like how them chicks was looking in that video right there. You know they scared as shit. You can clearly see they bloody. And them getting fucked up. Them dudes, so man, no telling they having all kinds of ways with them girls, man. Or young ladies, I should say. Verse 3, it says, um, from 20 years old and upward. All that are able to go forth to war in Israel, thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. And there you have it, man. It says, and with the, and with you, there shall be a man of every tribe, every one head of the household of his fathers. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you of the tribe of Reuben. It goes off into the tribes, right? <laughs> You've got the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Simeon, the tribe of Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, um, Ephraim, Dan. Asher, Gad, Naphtali. It says, these were the renown of the congregation, princes of the tribes of their fathers, heads of the house, heads of thousands in Israel. And Moses and Aaron took these men and were expressed by their names. And they assembly, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their family by the house of their fathers, according to the number of their names, from 20 years old and upward by their poles. And Yahweh commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. And the children of Reuben, Israel's eldest son, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers. According to the number of the names by their poles, every male from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go to war. See? 
Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Reuben, were forty and six thousand five hundred. And it goes on with all the all the um with all the tribes, as you can see. You see what I'm saying? So the point of the matter is, is is that when the Lord set up the armies, it was men. When no women in, in these in these armies, man. That wasn't no, I mean, that's just common damn sense. Why would it, she's the weaker vessel? She's the weaker vessel, man. Come on. I mean, come on, man. Here you go. And then I seen somebody online. They trying to justify women going into the military. All right, y'all going on, go, go on into the military. <laughs> because it's getting to a point where y'all asses is going to be shipped off and you're going to be somewhere on the front line. You're going to be somewhere uh, 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 looking stupid as hell. Because it's not for you. And you're not supposed to usurp authority over the man anyway. Because that's, that's a position of usurping authority. And then here you go. You're in there. You're, you're, you're unclean. Or you're monthly. Touching and defiling every goddamn thing. Come on, man. I mean, it's just come on, man. It, that's not a place for women, man. It's not a place for women. It, 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 come on. Let's just be honest here. But see, you 21st century... <laughs> You know, y'all y'all out here with that. We can do whatever what a man can do and all that. All right, all right. You're gonna see when when shit jump off. You're not gonna want no man. Look, shit about to get crazy as hell out here. Just being out here, just just in general, you're gonna need the protection of a man. Here you go. You're gonna place yourself in a position where you're gonna get on a plane and go fly somewhere. In a whole different region, a whole different country, somewhere you don't even know nothing to fuck about, to join this man's military and get out here and try and get to fighting. <clears throat> Come on, man. You can't. And, and, and the scriptures talks about who will pity a charmer. Who will pity a, a charmer? I'm not pitying them. You think I'm pitying y'all? Poor thing. Hell, nah. You dumb as hell. You shouldn't have went. But see, that's Israel, though. See, and they make it mandatory. Well, women and you have to at least do, I think it's two years over there. They make you go. And nowhere in the scriptures does it talks about Israel getting their women to join no damn military, man. To join forces to fight with, with, with you know, with women carrying those big ass shields. Shooting down bow and arrows and, 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 and big ass wards. That was the time of Israel. Now, I, you know, they may say, well, well, it's the 21st century. You know, they, they can, you know, it's, it's it's simpler now. Nah, 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 man. Nah, it's not not for them. Their thinking is not the same. They, they, it's not for them to do the, no shit like that. This is First Peter 3 and 7. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. Give me honor unto the wife. As unto the weaker vessel. See that? And as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered. But the point that I wanted to make in that scripture is that the women, they are the weaker vessel. Then you go, go into the scriptures. It talks about how Yahweh is the head. Then Yahweh shy. And then the men. And then the women. That's the order, man. You have the father. The Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. The Father, Yahweh. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Then the men. Then the women. That's the order, man, that the Lord set up. Right? But anyway, I, I don't want to keep this long, but you can clearly see. They not right. You done been there 94 days. They not right. And, and, and you think that they would have tried to, you know... It, I don't know, shit, do some type of, um, swap to get their, 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 um, their, uh, you know, military, military personnel back. I know they done the one swap, but you think they'd at least, nah, hey, look, we gonna need, we need the women, man. We need, we need, they ain't even doing that. But you know, Hamas, they, they already know what's up. Like, it's more strategic to keep them as hostages. We'll give them up last. After we done doing what we gonna do to them. You know, ain't no telling what they doing to them girls, man. Because you can clearly see they're not bad looking chicks, even with all the blood and shit all over, over their goddamn head. So you already know, ain't no telling what they've been. They probably been ravishing them, them, them chicks, man. Let me play it back again. Girl, 
and they just looking like kids. You know, they women, you know what I'm saying? But they basically looking like kids. Boy, I tell you, man, it take it, it, it take a weak government or weak nation to use your women in that way. But Esau don't give a fuck though, man. This is Esau. That's how you know Esau is the wicked, man. That's how you know he's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Esau Edom, man, he goes against the grain. He's he's going against what well, Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai set up, man. He's he's going against that order. He's going against that order. It, but but it's coming, it's it's about to come a point where you women, man, y'all gonna really learn that you're women. <laughs> you you're gonna really learn that you're women. Let me play that back one more time and I'm gonna end out. Look at this one right here. This one over here, she just looking like I don't even care no more. This one right here, she she crying or she miss mama, man. She miss daddy. She all of them sitting there looking like they zoned out. They zoned out. Ain't no telling what they doing to them. Probably drugging them. Ain't no telling what they done done to these girls, man. I, I bet you when they, I bet you if they do make it out of this shit, they would never want to go back. I bet you they won't be doing no more army shit. I bet you they'll prefer jail time than to go to that goddamn army. See? But anyway, like I said again, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, it is coming to a time of World War III, and Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he's going to start to draft y'all asses. You better say no. <laughs> you better say no. Because things is, the uptick is picking up on the, on the wars, rumors of wars. There's a lot of shit going on out here right now, man. <laughs> So, and it's only a matter of time before they start sending out draft papers because nobody wants to join the military. Don't nobody want to join no fucking military, man. They, 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 that enlistment, um, that, that, them numbers is down, way down. Nobody is enlisting to the army, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.